What's the mindset going down in Tampa here? What does the team have to do to finish this off down there? Well, first of all, uh, let's get a rest day today. Uh, get our minds right, then you know we have another chance to tomorrow to, to finish this off. So yeah, we're we're feeling good in here. What has to be different in terms of maybe playing a more complete game? Yeah, I think uh, overall, I think we we haven't shown them our best yet. Uh, if we if we do that tomorrow, I think we have a good chance to to win. Why have you been so strong at the end of games and so? Uninvolved, maybe at the beginning. Uh, I don't know. That's a that's a good good question. Uh, but also, we're we're staying in, staying in games, uh, doing a good job, doing a good job with that. Uh, obviously, we wanna wanna start like that right away uh, for sure. Well, it's been a long time in the city, obviously, for a playoff series win. I'm just curious, you're new. Do you, do you sense that? Do you feel either the excitement or the, the nervousness about about what you guys are going through in that right now? No, I mean uh, I think everybody in here wants to wants to win a win a series. Uh, I think it's as it's just as simple as that. Why is home ice doesn't seem to matter much across the playoffs this series? Like, what, would you put that down to anything? Uh, no, uh, not really. Uh, I think here, I mean, it, the last couple of games been you know really tight games. It doesn't matter if it's here in in Tampa. Uh, you know, it's just two very good teams going going at it. What do you take from those two games in Tampa and just the way you guys handled adversity? Yeah, I think like I said, we we did a great job just staying staying in the games, and you know we found a way to to get it done. You guys also won a regular season game down there just before the two playoff runs. So how much confidence do you take away from that and having a bit of a comfort level, I guess, for lack of a better word, in that building? Yeah, I mean we're I feel like we're confident confident no no matter what, and no matter no matter where where we play, uh, so we yeah, we got good confidence in here. You have more playoff experience than almost anybody here. Can you pass on anything to, to guys who haven't gone through the rounds that you've been able to go through in your career? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I like I said before, I haven't I haven't won anything, so I don't know how. Well, you were close. Close, but I. Like I said, I didn't didn't win anything, so I don't know how much help I am. What allowed that team in Nashville to go on a run when you reflect on it to, to make it as far as you guys did? Yeah, I mean we uh, sort of different situation. We were you no know, underdogs coming in, uh, and we managed to to beat Chicago in four games there, and you know, we got a got a lot of confidence from from that, and we just we just kept kept going after that. What's been the biggest issue that Tampa has presented? Obviously, there's two sides to every story, right? You guys are trying to do your thing. What is what are they doing that's causing the biggest issues for you right now? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think just overall they're uh, they have a great team. Uh, you know, they've been they've been the finals here for the last couple of years. Uh, you know, they're so I guess they're doing something right. Uh, it's just two two good teams going at it. So it's you know it's it's tight out there every every game. Yesterday, John DeBose talked about how important it was to stay focused and kind of ignore all the distractions of being in this city and all the excitement of fans and everything. Is it easier to stay focused when you're on the road? Uh, I guess it depends. Uh, for me, I don't really read, read media or anything, you know, especially during the playoffs. So I don't think that's a that's a big deal, but, you know, like I said, maybe it's a little easier going, going away. I don't know. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thanks, guys. What's your sense uh, of the group coming in today? How everyone's dealing with the pressure and the stress of now getting down to the business end of the series? Uh, good. Uh, I thought uh, uh, mood, guys are upbeat. Obviously, uh, turn the page here. Um, you know, regroup, learn from uh, last night, but at the same time, be excited about another opportunity uh, going on the road and, and uh, um, obviously the position we're in. So, um, yeah, we're excited. And um, like I said, short memory, turn the page. and. Uh, you know, get uh, physically and mentally, mentally ready to uh, get back out of here. The other team has a say, but how do you guys start better? Pardon? How, how do you guys start games better and play just more full 60? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, overall, I think, you know, we obviously uh, getting the first goal was big uh, last night, but uh, uh, just our response after that and, and just uh, the, the details each and every shift and um, just the execution that has to be there and obviously 
playing a tough opponent that's uh, uh, been in these situations uh, a lot over the last number of years and um, just understanding uh, uh, what their strengths are and then obviously um, you know us playing to our strengths and the level of execution that we have have to have shift to shift so you can carry momentum um, from one line to the next and 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 keep the pressure on them and, and obviously build our game so you know that's why you know you work all season long and uh, to play well, obviously to, to earn a spot in the in the playoffs, but obviously to build your game, um, you know, to to uh, have that to, to fall back on as, as your identity and what brings you success and stuff we talked about here today, um, you know, getting to that and, and continuing to push for more uh, from the group and and uh, you know doing uh, what we need to to get the result we want. John, your team has had some success on the road in this, in this series, and can there be a benefit, uh, especially in a city like this, when there's a lot of distractions, to being on the road? Uh, I think we want to be good both at home and on the road. So, um, you know, playoff hockey is very difficult. Uh, you know, the challenges and uh, um, momentum swings back and forth. And, and obviously, we didn't get the result we wanted last night. Um, so, like I said, look to regroup and, and get on the road and, and play well. We've played well on the road all year. I've had some good res results in this series and a good opportunity for us to respond and, and uh, um, yeah, go go in with uh, the right mindset and attitude, especially uh, when you're the team that. Uh, um, is going in on the road. What do you think Michael Bunting could bring? Should he draw in for Game Six? Well, obviously, uh, you know, Bunts, you know, plays with a, a lot of passion and emotion. Um, obviously, his skill set, uh, just the way he battles and competes, uh, how well he uses his stick and his finishing ability in and around the net, uh, fighting for space and, and earning pucks and battles. I think uh, a real strength of his game. So, um, obviously, a very, really, very good player for us over the last couple of years, and, and uh, I know he'll be ready uh, when called upon. Did you find that uh, Tampa did a better job of preventing you guys from getting trapped in front of the net last night? I, I, re yeah, I think you, we had a sense of this concerted effort, uh, um, whether it was that or, or um, even just getting in shot lanes and trying to pressure us out to uh, discourage shots, um, block shots, um, hurry shots, all those sorts of things. Um, so I think uh, definitely aware of that and, and uh, you know where we can be a little better. Um, and how we get the puck to the net, and then obviously fighting for that space in and around the net. I think that's that's always prime real estate uh, at any time of the season, any time of the year, and, and you know really ever since the game has been played. So, um, no doubt, uh, something we we uh, have been strong at throughout the series, and I need to continue to put emphasis on in, in front of theirs, and, and obviously ours as well. How do you John, handle you their How do you handle their forecheck better, John? I think it's a five man unit. Well, I, I you know I think that's part of the execution part. Uh, you know. Um, you know, you build like I said. You build your game all year to, to build the habits of, of where we where we can execute, um, you know, and, and uh, make the plays when they're there. And obviously, um, you know, skating off the puck and, and giving uh, giving the outlets and the options, uh, especially when guys are under pressure, whether it's our D or pucks are on the walls and those contested battles and plays that are that are just uh, that are tough to make. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, to have success and, and generate the momentum and get our game going and get our speed going through the neutral zone and obviously onto the forecheck. Um, you know, we need to make, need to make and, and find our way through that. So, um, you know, obviously uh, uh, that execution helps slow them up um, and lets us get our game going uh, into their end and, and slow them down. And obviously, um, you know, our strength playing the offensive zone, generating opportunities, getting pucks to the net, and, and uh, you know, building momentum shift to shift. In games three, four, and five, you guys in the final minutes played with incredible desperation and emotion and really took over. All three of the games, even though it didn't end the same way last night. Why can't you do before the final four or five minutes of a game what you seem to be doing in the final four or five minutes of a game? Well, I, I you know, the, the game obviously builds throughout uh, 60 minutes, and as the situation kind of uh, um, arises because of uh, um, you know, obviously time uh, starts uh, starts to tick away and and. Um, you know the urgency. I think picks up on both sides. So, but no doubt, I think we we want to come out and, and you know take control of the game. There's no doubt that we want to do that. I think we've done it throughout many points um, of this season. Obviously, uh, you know the challenge Tampa presents and something that uh, I think we can respond to. And um, you know, you know, obviously we did a really good job in, in game two. So, um, you know, that opportunity is going to be there, and we know the tough test that they present. So, but so definitely, obviously, we want to do everything we can to put ourselves in control. But 
regardless of what happens, uh, you know, we're going to keep competing right into the end and, and do whatever necessary or whatever it takes to uh, obviously give ourselves a chance and put ourselves in the spot we want to be. John, John Holmes hasn't mattered in this, in this series much, hasn't mattered much in the playoffs. Can you put that down to anything? Is it just better teams, the ranks are all the same? What, is there anything there? Um, I think the league's just really competitive, uh, you know, and, and uh, you get the best 16 teams that make the playoffs and have probably have had success at different points at home and on the road. Face adversity, been through adversity throughout the season. Um, you know, wanting to respond, obviously, you know, wanting to compete and, and, and have success. So, um, you know, obviously, we in the first couple games were big scores um, in, in our series, but, you know, overall, it's, you know, it, it comes down to a handful of plays and, and the games are tight and competitive. So, um, always hard to say, but, uh, um, you know, that's just uh, the nature of, uh, of the game and, and how competitive our league is and, and uh, um, you know, what playoff hockey is all about. Thank you. Sean, what are you stressing to the group today? What are your points of emphasis as you get set to go back to Tampa? We'll just use today as a opportunity like we did after game two to rest and recover and, uh, you know, have our mindset right as we travel out out to Tampa, just to understanding what we need to do, but um, it's a recovery day today. We get up to Tampa, and then we'll dig into the details tomorrow. Do you have to go to 11 and 7 to alter your lineup so that you get the most and the best out of, out of your group? We're looking at everything uh, here today, Steve. We've had a couple things happening, you know, with some of our players in terms of uh, injuries and such that will will play itself out throughout the day today and probably part of tomorrow. But yeah, we're looking at what all our options might be to give us the best opportunity to get going tomorrow. It's punting part of that, obviously. Yes, of course. Well, what, what would he bring, do you think? Well, we know what he brings, Sheldon, but just after having uh, Watts fast four games, not being part of it. Uh, he would bring energy, you know, that would be the first thing, obviously, both in how he plays and also the fact that he hasn't played. Mm -hmm. The series as it way as it goes on weighs on on everybody in terms of the uh, the grind that it is. Uh, so having a guy that hasn't played come in, you know, can give us a boost that way. Um, so those are all the things that we consider uh, when anytime you're, you're going to make a change. You got a lot of good hockey out of Jordan on Hall early this season. What do they have to do to get back to to that? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's. Couple things too. Obviously, the defensive piece and keeping things in front, keeping things in front of you, and not letting guys get in behind. Uh, that would be a, a big one, um, you know. But those guys have done a really good job for us all season. Now it's been interesting. We have some some guys that have taken a step backwards, come from the regular season. Some guys taking a big step forwards. So uh, you know, the the time of the year and the challenge of the opponent, all those kind of things, affects everybody differently. Um, certainly, those guys. Know, have been and can be uh, better again. The frustrating is that you basically shut down Kucherov's down close and endpoint last night, and even their even strength numbers in the entire series are are quite low. How frustrating is it that you, you were able to do that and still not come away with a win? Yeah, it's it's part of it. I mean, right? Tampa's a, they're a deep team that can hurt you in different ways. It's not unlike last season. I thought we did a good job against those those, those guys last season as well. But it's a long series, you know, and, and when you're playing long series, whether it's our team or their team, you're going to have some nights your big guys are going to step up and going to carry you through, and then sometimes they're going to they're gonna have uh, off nights or they're going to be checked real hard, and then your depth comes through or your special teams come through. I think over the course of a series you experience a little bit of all of that. Um, you know, last night it was... It was their their depth guys that uh, did the did the work for them uh, offensively, um, you know. But I think those type of things happen as the series go on. We've had nights where it's our depth guys doing it for us, and others our our big guys have stepped up and, and produced at a high rate. So I think you just learn to deal with all of that uh, when you're going against an opponent like this. Well, you didn't get a chance to ask last night, but just the maroon hit. What did you see on that? And is, is Gio? I know he came back. Is he all right? Yeah, uh, I think he's doing okay uh, today. Um, in terms of the hit itself, I don't know. I mean, any time there's hits in the numbers, you know, you're concerned with it. There's been a few of those, you know, from that player in particular in this series. Um, so when you see it and a player smashes his head off the glass, that's a, that's a tough look.
couple of years ago, you mentioned that uh, it feels different this year. Uh, what differences are you noticing today after a bit of a setback last year? Good energy from the group. You know, we gathered for a meeting here today, and as as a coach, before you walk into the meeting, you're always getting a pretty good sense of where the group is at based on the volume or the chatter and the energy of the room when you walk in. And today it was it was vibrant, uh, so that's a really good sign in terms of our mindset here. And that, like I said, today is about a, it's a mindset day, making sure we uh, we're in the right frame of mind, uh, recognizing we still have a great opportunity here um, to win a series and we've put ourselves in a good spot th through the work that we've done over the course of the series and I think the guys recognize that uh, based on their mood here today there's excitement to get it on the road and what, get back to it. I'm sorry, well, last what's your one team's uh, confidence level going into Tampa given the two wins there and the regular season win at the end of the schedule as well? Yeah I mean we, I think both teams have shown they can win in either building in, in any situation Certainly, that that helps our cause, but you, you can't just lean on that. Uh, we gotta, you know, still play better. You know, uh, that that's the big focus. I, the, I think where the confidence might come from is that we got two wins on the road despite not playing our best hockey. So we think collectively and individually we can go get to another level, and that's just what's going to be required to defeat a team like this. Thank you. Thank you.